Good evening, friends. This is Heather from Hawkfield Manor, and um, I'm just here to kind of give you guys um, kind of a walkthrough of this meal kit that we are doing with um, Jesse at my seven sons farm. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and walk you guys through my dinner prep tonight so you guys can kind of see what it looks like and how easy it is. And so let's get to it. First of all, I thought actually two pounds of ground beef. So this is two pounds of ground beef because our family, um, we have six kids. So uh, we just definitely needed a little bit more than just one pound. Um, and I actually, this is not a seasoned, a very well seasoned pan. So I went ahead and added some olive oil. So that, that's actually the oil you're seeing here. Um, usually our ground beef is very lean. And so um, there's not really any grease to pour off, um, which is actually kind of good and kind of bad if you're adding the sauce mix because it doesn't have a ton of juices. So I just like to add in a little bit of olive oil right before I put in my ground beef. And like I said, this is about two pounds. And these are the packets that we're using. Um, you can either use the regular ones or you can use the kosher ones. The kosher ones, um, you don't have any um, GMOs, whereas the Lipton ones um, do have GMOs. So if that's something that's important to you and your family, go ahead and get the kosher ones instead of the regular ones. Um, and uh, it just takes one sleeve. Each box comes with two. Um, in our meal kit, you get one, and you're going to get the kosher one that has none of the GMOs. So just throw that packet in whenever you want to in the very beginning or towards the middle. You can see I've already put mine in here. You can kind of see the onions in there and the spices. It smells amazing. And um, some of our kids are not fans of the squash, so we went ahead and did some organic pasta that we're going to um, serve with this recipe. But um, coming over here, this is the amazing winter squashes that um, Jesse has at their farm. Um, and I know they look all glossy. I did not oil them. This is just what happens. This is what they look like when you are cooking them. Um, I cut in half, and actually I do a little bit of olive oil. Um, on my, I usually line my cookie sheets with foil lining. Um, I did a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper, but Jessie just does them, just cut in half and face down cooked. Um, I don't think she adds olive oil, so either option is fine. It's just to your taste what you guys want to do. Um, but you just want to make sure that um, you can insert a fork easily into them, which this one, you can see, it goes in really easily. Um, so yeah, these ones are definitely done, and I have not done the next step yet of um, of scooping the seeds up. But let's just turn them over. They're still a little bit hot. Doesn't that look amazing? So I'm just going to scoop out the seeds really quick, um, and then I will plate them and go ahead and dish our cooked ground beef into the center, and then we are done. But let's go real quick and do the seeds. So here we go, we've gotten this one all seeded out. You can see it's super easy. And honestly, I just like scooped it straight onto the foil, um, especially if you guys want to feed them to animals or something afterwards, you can do that. And I just get a nice little healthy scoop. And just go ahead and fill the centers there. And you are ready to go. If you want to fill it up a little bit more, you can. There we go. Yay! All right. Enjoy, you guys, and let us know if you would like to get these in the future and have this be a regular thing during the winter time. Um, and we can do this collab with my seven sons farm again. Thanks, guys.